What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna give you guys a closet tour. I'm really excited about it because if any of you guys have been following me on Instagram like back in the summer, you would see that I did this whole DIY on my closet. And then after talking about it, I never ended up showing like the final result to everybody and I felt like such a dick because I hyped it up and everybody was loving it and then I was just like, okay, we're done and nobody saw the final result. So I thought, let me just give you guys a final tour. But in case you guys weren't following me, I wanna get you up to speed and let you know a little bit of the background before I show you it. So me and my boyfriend, uh, in August 2018, so less than six months ago, we moved in together. <laughs> it's the first boyfriend I've ever lived with and uh, the first time I've ever moved out of my parents' house. So there's that. But I had good reason. I didn't want to just like move out with anybody. And I could have moved out by myself, but that's like a whole other story. So <laughs> let's just move on. Anyway, so we got this place and I instantly fell in love with Like this is a dream home to me. And um, when we got here and I looked at our master bedroom and our closet, again, it was just a huge dream for me to be here. Like literally my closet is as big as my last bedroom. I'm not even kidding. The only problem was, is the way that the closet was set up. So I'm gonna like insert pictures for you guys. Um, it was just this like metal wire shelving that went around the entire closet. And which is fine for some people, but me moving in with my boyfriend, he has more clothes now than I've had combined throughout my entire life. So I was like, if we're gonna move in together and it stays, this closet stays this way, like there's no way that I would even be able to share this closet with you because you just your clothes alone would take up this entire space. So I was like, you know what, before we move in here, let me just do a little DIY on the closet, put some shelving up, and fix it so that me and him can both share it. And guys, I'm like so proud of myself. So let me explain to you again while I'm like showing you pictures. Literally all that I did was I went to Home Depot, grabbed some shelving, grabbed some stuff that holds shelving, grabbed some screws that hold the stuff that holds the shelving. And I basically just like, drew out how I wanted my closet to be and then I measured it and cut everything. Now I personally didn't cut it. I had them measured and I had my boyfriend cut it. My dad gave me a sawzall and we cut it right off which was really easy. This was easy for me because my dad had basically all the tools that I needed. So that made this job a lot easier too. I really do feel like anybody at home can do this but the tools are the biggest things that you need. So if you have somebody who will let you borrow their tools, do that. I know Home Depot, you can um, rent tools too, which is really nice. But yeah, like literally that's all I had to do. And then I went to Ikea, grabbed two bookshelves, and just threw it all together. And it's literally night and day. Like it is a huge difference. And I'm seriously so proud. I'm so proud of myself. And that is where I left everybody hanging. So I thought, why don't I just now do like a little closet tour of how I basically organized all of my stuff, how I put it in there, and how me and Jake comfortably share the closet together. So let's just get into it because I'm super excited. So once we walk into my bedroom, this is where my, our, my, this is where my closet, this is where our, our closet is. I have my big mirror here. I'm like in the middle of doing laundry, so I don't want to show you the rest of the bedroom, and it's not a bedroom tour, so I don't want to show you it yet. So when we walk into here, dun 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 dun. All right, so let's get started. So when I designed the closet, there is one smaller side, and then there's one bigger side. Now I mentioned to you guys before, Jake has uh, way more clothes than I do, so I gave him the bigger side. But I did leave like that much room on the end so that I can hang my dresses there. So we share just like a little bit right there, but this is majority him. I tried to organize my clothes by color, and I feel like doing so, it seems a lot less busy to me and a little bit more organized because it is, it could look crowded, but I feel with the color section going on, it's easier for me to find stuff. So I color coordinated his stuff too. And for me with color organizing, 
I don't really just like pick a shirt that I just wanted to wear. I usually pick a shirt based off their color. So maybe one day I'll wake up and be like, oh, where's that one gray shirt that I like? I want to wear that today. Well, what gray shirt? You have 30. So I think this really helps to at least narrow it down from my mind where I can be like, oh, it's going to be here. So I'll be able to find it somewhere instead of being like, where is it? Is it in, the, you know, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Never really done a closet tour. So I guess I'll start um, <laughs> picking apart what I have in here. So let's start with my clothes. A lot of my clothes I get from Akira, Windsor, Target, Old Navy. Sometimes I'll dabble in Fashion Nova and yeah, mostly Akira and Windsor, Target and Old Navy. They're like my fave places. Um, I love black. If I could, this entire thing would be all black. Um, I had a lot more black clothing, but I have it in my dressers. I don't have like all my clothes hung up. I have um, a really big dresser that I keep stuff in there too, but I keep that in my actual bedroom. Uh, but yeah, let's see, like one of my favorite black pieces of all time. This is from Akira. I wore this on New Year's. It's such a New Year's look to me or a birthday look. All my grays, a lot of my gray shirts I've gotten from either, again, Windsor, Akira, or actually Fashion Nova. So this is from Fashion Nova. Oh, and my boyfriend's closet. Yes, this is my boyfriend's shirt. I took it we share clothes. Actually, it's not we, it's me. I steal his clothes. Um, I'm really into mustard, but this is the only mustard outfit that I have, and this is actually from um, Fashion Nova. I really like this. It's a crop. A lot of my clothes are crops, not by choice, but because that's basically all clothing is nowadays, so that's great. My second favorite thing to wear is neutrals. So I'm not really too much on a gray person, even though I have a lot of grays. I'm more into the blacks or into these. So I love, love my neutrals, my olives, some animal print. Another one of my boyfriend's shirts that I stole. I love camo. It's like another one of my favorite things. I think I got this from... Windsor. I love the color white. It just sucks because it gets so dingy so fast. So I try to like rarely wear my whites so that I can have them longer, but then I like never end up wearing them because I'm so scared to ruin them. And then down here I just keep jackets, skirts, hoodies, zip ups, sportswear. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. That's me. Got some Hawks. The socks. Sorry Cubs. Bulls again. Some bulls again. We like the bulls. So now my shoe collection. I want to move to that really quick because that's something that I'm trying really hard to get up there with. My boyfriend has an entire shoe room, which I will insert here. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So if you guys would like to see a video on his shoe room, let me know because he's got some amazing shoes in his collection. So yeah, since we've been dating, I'm like trying to build up my collection. So um, we are a big Jordan fan. So we have a lot of Jordans, just Nikes in general. Um, one of my favorite pairs of Jordans that I own are these bad boys right here, which are the Eris. Get them out really quick. I love glitter. Anything that's like blingy and extra I love so these shoes I had to have but I love like that they're simple too they're simple but extra as fuck which is what I like another um Jordans that I love are the ones I love this though because orange is actually one of my personal favorite colors to wear so they came out with these last year over the summer and I had to get them. The only thing about ones though is they're just a little too tight for me. I'm like that awkward half size. So I'm not quite a 10 and a half, but I'm not quite an 11. So it kind of sucks to be me. And that's in girls, sorry. I have really big feet guys, what can I say? And yes, we keep our shoes in boxes because we're um, psychos like that too. Just keeps the shoes looking better. Um, I recently actually s fell in love with the Nike Reacts. These are probably the most comfy shoes you can ever put on your feet, 
ever. You need to buy one of these. I love these tones like this. I love just like anything of a neutral palette with a slight pop of color. But these guys are amazing. Another pair that I recently just got, same kind of like similar tones, but the same shoe. Oh, uh, you guys, these are so nice. I haven't worn these yet. He got these for me for my birthday, which was just a couple weeks ago. So I'm waiting for the snow to defrost because I'm not wearing these outside when it's shitty out. But I'm not, I'm not kidding. You guys need to get yourself a pair of the Nike Reacts. You will not regret it. For shoes, when it comes to, um, like, things that I wear during the summer, I actually have them all shoved under here because I don't have enough room in my closet. And, um, it's easier to store in here. So, I actually get, like, all of my summertime shoes, any type of sandal, flip-flop, anything I actually get from Target. Basically everything under here is either from Target or Akira, but 95% of it is Target. Target has the cutest, simplest um, sandal and I'm obsessed. I'm a simple girl when it comes to sandals. I like things to be like very plain and stuff. So those are my favorite. Moving back up to my everyday shoes. These are all Nike as well. These are the types of um, shoes that I wear out or I wear to the gym. These I actually wear to the gym. These are like my favorites. Um, super comfy. I actually need to wash all my shoes before spring hits because they're super dirty from the summer before and also which is like wearing these during the winter as well. Yes, I do wash these. I put them in the washer. We have special um, holders to put them and clean them and I swear when they come out they are brand new so if you've never tried washing your shoes before do it like it'll literally get out any scuff any dirty marks like it's amazing then for all my other everyday shoes too i just keep them all the way up here um nothing crazy combat boots some heels rather regular black heels that i've gotten from target too more nikes and then i keep some more heels in here too um, I try to like shove my shoes <laughs> in all these little hidden spots so that I have room and it, it doesn't look cluttered so I like that. Then moving on to my everyday heels and I wouldn't say like I wear these every day but these are like my most worn heels which is why like all of my other shoes were shoved under here because I don't really wear them that much but when I'm going to go out I basically just wear in this section so majority of my heels Probably 80% of these heels, maybe 90, are from Akira. I'm obsessed with Akira shoes. They're the only shoes that fit my big ass feet. I wear a size 11. Yes, I wear a size 11. I have really big feet, but they're skinny, so it's okay. Akira shoes are the best for comfort, price, and for my size. So these are like one of my favorite boot heels that I got from them. Super cute, really comfy. Another one of my favorite boot styles from Akira. Like, and also, really quick, basically none of these shoes cost more than $40. So, amazing. But another one of my personal favorites. These, though, I did not get from Akira. I got this from a department store maybe eight, nine years ago. One of my personal favorites, again, back with the bling. Now, these are just stunning. They're this really pretty um, lace, and underneath it, underneath the lace, is this shiny material. I don't know if it's sequins or what, because you could only feel the lace. But that gold heel, ooh, another just one of my favorite heels of all time. These are from Akira. Akira, I loved these pink shoes, but I literally beat the shit out of them. Like, this is why I hate drinking and going out sometimes because I do reckless stuff like take it out on my heels like I don't know what I did I don't know if I fell something stupid anyway I'm mad these are from Akira love random store Target love love orange department store Akira 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 Target so let me go back to these this heel style these are both the same I just got it in black and a nude this heel is one of my personal favorite heels that I own. I'm a sucker for zippers. I'm a sucker for, I don't really know where I was going to go with that, but 
um, super, super comfy, very sleek, very simple. I love a simple shoe with a big statement, and I feel like that's what these give me, especially because that zipper in the back and it goes up the heel. I don't know, I'm just like obsessed. But I really like these. Again, they're from Akira, and this is the Olivia brand. So pretty. One of my personal favorite um, booties, little combat style that I got from Target. Obsessed. I wore these all winter long, still wearing them, but I love it. Very, very comfy. Love the color, so you can basically wear this with any outfit. You can be casual with this, you can be dressy with this. So definitely a really good Target find. Oh, and another good Target find. I actually just got these like a month ago, I think. Um, I haven't even worn them yet. Like I've put them on. They're really nice because they're suede, so they feel really nice. Not the not the best for like weather, but um, for appearance, they're great. So I got it in this color and black. I was never really a block heel fan, but I feel like it's really coming back and I feel like everybody looks good in it. So the fact that I found these at Target, I was like, yes, give those to me. I think they were like $34 each. So definitely a really good Target find too if you guys like block heels instead of the stiletto sharp knife heels that I like to wear. Okay, going back to this section. So, um, you know, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not a huge jewelry fan, but I, I really want to start to get into it. So a little backstory before I get into this. I've only ever really been into makeup and that was basically the only thing I've ever spent money on my entire life never clothes, never really shoes. Not that I didn't want with shoes. I've been in love with shoes my entire life, but I have big feet and nobody ever likes to make cute shoes for me. So I never spent money on shoes, clothes, nothing. It was always makeup. And then the older I got, the more I just really wanted to branch myself in all aspects of beauty. Just trying to be a little bit more fashionable, you know? So I'm getting a little bit more into jewelry, trying, but this so far is... <laughs> that I have. So I'll start with bracelets. Um, I have bracelets. I don't wear them though. I have very, very, very tiny wrists. I don't know if you guys, I wish I had like my boyfriend's hand to compare because my wrists are so tiny that um, it looks like they can just snap. So bracelets don't really sit well on my wrists. They're usually too big and they slip right off my hands. But the ones that I do have they fit me nice, but just it's so annoying with like that jingle and like them falling off my hands, so I don't really bother. But most of my bracelets I've gotten from like Forever 21 or Windsor, things like that. Then I have rings. I actually like rings. Rings are one of my personal favorites. I don't wear them as much as I want to though. I used to wear a ring on this hand and a ring on this hand like every day of my life growing up. And then at one some time in my life I took the rings off and I've been ringless but when I go out I do like to throw on a couple of rings so I like more like dainty little stuff um, I don't like to look too gaudy sometimes I do sometimes I don't so for when I don't I just have like these really simple dainty little rings that I'll just like put on my fingers that I like when I want to get a little bit more gaudy um, this one's like one of my personal favorites. I think I got this from Windsor a couple years ago, but the rest of these I think are all from Forever 21. Oh, and I got this um, back in 2011 when I was Nicki Minaj for Halloween. So there's that. Then over here I just have some random earrings. Um, these earrings were actually my great grandmothers she gave them to me they're so pretty like this is the type of extra shit that i'm talking about i like to look blingy in this type of style i don't know it just makes me think of her and feeling fabulous so i really like those um i used to really been be into dangly earrings and hoops and then one day i just like stopped wearing them and now i'm like all about the studs so i just have all these different studs pearls um, some, you know, like fake ass diamonds because who doesn't love fake ass looking diamonds? And then I have the necklaces all the way over here. I actually keep them right underneath this mirror. I love putting mirrors inside any room 
or on any wall because I feel like it just makes the room look that much bigger. Literally, I just feel like there's a whole new room in here. So I love this. And I like to keep my necklaces here just so I'm like trying them on, seeing like, do they look good? Do they look good? They do? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so these are my necklaces. All of my necklaces here as well, I've either gotten from Akira or Windsor or Forever 21. So I love pieces like these on very, very plain outfits. So if I'm like super, like either one color dress, simple shoe, I like to pair it with bigger pieces like this just to make the outfit pop out. So this is from Akira. This is also from Akira. I wore this with like an all white outfit. I thought it was super pretty with um, nude shoes. Then I got this from Windsor. So again, you guys, I really like big necklace pieces. They're my faves. And then I also love just like very dainty necklaces as well. So I just got this. I picked this up at Forever 21. Love the little daintiness. One of my favorite pieces that I own, period, is this one right here. It's a, let me go over here. It's a double cross and I got this from Windsor. And then again, just more, ooh, uh oh, these are like attached, come here. So again, just like more dainty items. I got this at Forever 21. And then I think all the rest of like these dainty items right here I've gotten from Forever 21. This was also something I just got yesterday from Forever 21. Just like very dainty stuff. And then like one of the biggest gaudy pieces that I have, this is from Akira. I loved this. I actually wore this to a wedding. So yeah, that was fun. And then another one of my favorite pieces of all time. Oh, really quick. This was given to me by my Nana. Super pretty. Again, right before she passed away. I just love that stone. But yeah, back to like one of my favorite pieces I own. Yes, I have a Barbie necklace. This necklace I got in 2011. I'm a huge, 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 like probably one of the biggest fans you'll ever meet of Nicki Minaj. And I was Nicki Minaj back in 2011. I bought a pink wig. I bought a super colorful outfit. And um, I wore this big Barbie chain. And then last but not least over here, I have a Marilyn Monroe piece. It's like one of my favorites because everywhere you turn, it turns to a different picture of her. How cool is that? I'm a huge Marilyn Monroe fan and my aunt got this for me. So I keep it right here as part of like my beauty room. You know, I'm very, very proud of where I've been, where I am, and where I'm going. So, um, of course I have dreams of a bigger closet with more storage and more amazing, awesome things to add to my collection, but I will get there in time. I am so, so grateful for everything that I have here in my closet. I am very blessed. Um, I hope that this, though, helps to maybe inspire you guys to do something like this with your closet. You know, that it wasn't hard if somebody like me can do this. I know that you can do it. And not to downplay myself because I think I'm a little bit of a badass when it comes to creativity. But I'm just saying this was pretty easy to put together. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see my man's shoe room because I would love to show you guys like his collection. That's like his baby. For, for me, makeup's my thing. I've already shown you guys a tour on my makeup room. I'll link it for you guys if uh, you haven't seen it personally but um makeup's like my thing so i know like i would love to show off like his little things and have him kind of like explain to you what his favorite things are i think it's so cool when you have um a passion for something whether it's makeup it's shoes it's jewelry um your collection you just take a lot of pride in so i know he takes a lot of pride in his also let me know if you guys would like to see maybe little fashion hauls like I said, I'm getting there. I'm not quite the fashionista yet. As you can see, I have a white t-shirt that I actually got from Walmart in the little boy section. Yes, little boy section. And I have uh, food all over it. So not quite there yet in the fashion department, but I'm going to be. So if you guys like to see, I don't know, like little fashion hauls on the things or like my favorite pieces in my closet, I could totally do that for you guys. I would love to. Enough talking. I feel like 
I feel like outros are always so like lame and annoying. I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna blab on for another 10 more minutes. Great. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the outro from up here. It's a lot better lighting. It's nice. But thank you guys so much again for always watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos if you guys like to see more. Do not forget to drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys like to see. You guys are always so helpful with new ideas for videos. I write down every single one of them, and um, it's just going to take me a long time to get through them. But they help to feed my creativity, so thank you guys always so much for your suggestions. But yeah, thanks again, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I told you guys that my boyfriend has, you know, a lot more clothes than me. Yeah, these, uh, this is just his shirts, <laughs> okay? So, uh, this entire closet couldn't even fill his clothes. We actually have a separate bedroom where he puts his pants and his dressers full of other clothes. Yeah, crazy, right? See, so, yeah, this is just his shirts. It's great. He's awesome. It's cool. Cool.